stop me now. Try. You'll only embarrass yourself. cannot possibly match your strength.
Ready? that truck before they start moving. the light's gift.
off while you still have a chance. I feel better already. Very effective. I've been ready to roll out. It's now or never. Hit that truck. Here's one for ya. Have you been punched in the face by a god? Today might be your lucky day. That should put a dent in their operations. Nicely done.
Hunter, I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? I need to take care of something before we go. Sure thing. Find me when you're free. I used to run away when the world got crazy, but now I just get crazier. What's up, Big H? It's nice of Hydra to provide all these free sparring partners for you. If they were smart, they'd start charging for these. No Hydra agents go against us and get to walk away more than once. Anything going on today? Yes, Nico wants to speak with you. Do so before you sleep. Can you tell me what this is about? No. What's good? What you doing, Charlie? Technically, it's Roberto. But you can call me Robbie. Everybody else does. Is the forge treating you well, Doctor? It is, all things considered. The scent of Hellfire is slightly less obnoxious than Tony. Oh, uh, Miss Minoru wishes to speak with you. She requested you do so tonight. What about? A great mystery and a greater opportunity. You should seek her out. Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual, for-real aliens. 
There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure. What about us? How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. Still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. <laughs> he and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. So, what do you need? Nothing, Carol. See- Look at- What is it, Charlie? Find something? There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Seriously, this is about as celebratory as I get, unless there's Boba. We left. If you're free, I'll assemble the emo kids. Lead the way. Let's do it! Nico will tell you our purpose. Miss Minoru can explain why we're all here. Go on, I'll wait. So, uh, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death? Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I. But if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Yes. How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode? A very small chance. Unlikely. How concerned should I be about exploding? 
slightly more than usual. Does Strange have any other details about the ritual? Ha! Far too many. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right, emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's Staff of One to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual. The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! Doctor Strange, the ritual, how does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I'm ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you do. I raced through the Abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. We were not ready for this fight. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally, 